So there's another one that I wanted to share last week about the plight of Pakistani Christians. Um, this is a sad story, but it is still uh, with happy ending. Have a look at this Christian girl who was kidnapped. And look what happened. Listen to her. My name is Vinish Masih. I was working at a place where I was working. There was a girl who was working with me. What was the name of that girl? Muhammad Al-Assad. محمد الاسد وہ مجھے اسلام قبول کرنے پر فورس کرتا تھا وہ مجھے کہتا تھا کہ تم اسلام قبول کر لو تم مسلم لگتی ہو تم کرسچن نہیں لگتی اس وجہ سے میں نے وہاں سے بھی جاب چھوڑ دی تھی میں نے ملیشیا ٹاؤن میں ایک ہائپر بازار ہے وہاں پہ جاب کرنا سٹارٹ کر دی تھی وہاں سے ایک دن میں کام پر جا رہی تھی انہوں نے راستے میں مجھے اغوا کر لیا ایک وائٹ رنگ کی کار میں اور وہ مجھے ایک نامعلوم جگہ پر لے کے اس کا مجھے نہیں پتا تھا ان اس کمرے میں بہت اندھیرا تھا وہاں پہ انہوں نے مجھے انجیکشن لگایا جس کا وہ بھی نہیں مجھے پتا تھا اور انہوں نے کچھ پیپرس پر انگوٹھے لگوائے اور میری ویڈیو بنا لی اور انہوں نے مجھے بلیک میل کیا کہ اگر میں بھاگ جاؤں گی یا کہیں چلی جاؤں گی تو وہ میری یہ ویڈیو کو وائرل کر دیں گے اور مجھ سے زبردستی اسلام قبول کروا لیا اور مجھے اس کمرے میں رکھتے تھے اور انجیکشن لگاتے تھے نشے کی دوائیاں دیتے تھے جس کی وجہ سے مجھے کوئی ہوش نہیں آتی تھی کہ میں کہاں پر ہوں ایک دفعہ مجھے تھوڑی سی ہو سائی میں نے دیکھا کہ وہ مجھے بیچنے لگا ہے جنوبی پنجاب میں اور اس نے پانچ لاکھ روپے لے لیے تھے ایک وقت ایسا آیا کہ جب میں گھر پر اکیلی تھی میں نے وہاں سے بھاگ کر ایک رکشے والے کو کہا کہ مجھے اب میں اپنے گھر جانا ہے گرین ٹاؤن مگر میں نشے کی حالت میں تھی مجھے نہیں پتا تھا اس نے مجھے گرین ٹاؤن تو اتار دیا مگر آ کے مجھے کہاں جانا تھا سڑکوں کا مجھے بالکل نہیں پتا لگ رہا تھا میں نے وہاں راستے میں ایک انکل سے مدد لی میں نشے میں تھی انکل کو نہیں پتا چل رہا تھا انکل کو میری بات بھی نہیں سمجھ میں آ رہی تھی تو انہوں نے مجھے گرین ٹاؤن کے پولیس ٹیشن میں جمع کروا دیا وہاں سے انہوں نے مجھے دار الرحمان بھیج دیا ایک رات میں وہاں پر رہی اور جب مجھے تھوڑی سی ہوش آئی میں نے انہیں اپنے گھر کا پتہ بتایا تو میرے والدین مجھے وہاں سے لینے آ گئے لہذا مجھے انصاف چاہیے So as you can see that the, there was quiver in her voice. Uh, the good news, as I said, was the best part that she actually survived. She managed to escape uh, her abductors. Um, but as far as the justice part is concerned, unfortunately, there's no justice yet. This is two weeks old, a week and a half old, actually. Um, and no perpetrators have been arrested so far. And um, yeah, I, I, I doubt that anyone would be uh, arrested because it's just uh, the state is very week as well because um they would probably just look at it and say well no harm's done people these victims will be threatened and they would be like okay well let it go and um let's uh wait for the next victim and that that's why it is incumbent so it is incumbent on our human rights minister there she is um to look at these cases as human rights abuses this is not just an ordinary law and order case because it is it always carbon copy case week after week uh, it, hindu girls if, if that in was India, in the west there's so many parts of that case that are, are able to be criminalized you know and you're saying there's not even a perpetrator has not even been identified or caught she's given his full name his place of work where he like this it's just ridiculous that the speed at what the, the non-speed at which they they care or try and handle these cases and also the way that just some guy at work that they're, they're so hell-bent on converting you it's like hitchin says you know like have your toys have them at home just don't wave them in my face like keep them to yourself and if you want must then read the no compulsion bit and stick to that well, hitchin, hitchin said that as a toy but someone um, uh, more crudely said it religion is like a penis, it's, a so penis. it's okay to yeah. have one but you don't show it be else. proud of it sure yeah <laughs> just don't wave it in my face um <laughs> but um but all of these things actually arise from this increasing religiosity or telling people that religiosity is virtue um it's good to be religious and uh, once you establish that way of thinking then you go like okay well i'm doing a good thing I'm, i'm i'm converting her to islam i'm saving her from hellfire and then that's the way it goes and that's why religion is an evil evil but concept. even according to islam leave her alone she's a person of the book you could you know technically even if you some some whatever way wants to marry a Christian or Jew, you can. But you want to go um, above yeah, and beyond. But you want to go, go above, above and beyond. They want to secure their up. 72 virgins and get more rewards and be, yep, get people That's in the hadith. cause of Allah. Is that a hadith or again, is it, is it from a zakir or is it a real hadith or something that says that one person who converts a person to Islam, that's it, he goes to heaven. But but I'm yeah, just saying, why yeah, do yeah. 
But again, why go through all that trouble <laughs> when we have this, which we shared earlier? Uh, just say, Laila, Laila, Muhammad, Rasulullah, because nothing uh, is heavier than the name of Allah at the end. No matter and what you do, ahead. just say, Laila, Laila, Muhammad, Rasulullah, and that's it. This guy. I think there's like layers to this shit, though, you know, like, um, because even here in England, people are really into building mosques or leaving a bunch of Qurans in mosques because apparently, according to them, anyone that reads a Quran that you've bought and paid for it after a mosque you'll get yeah. the the reward for it so whoever tom dick and harry times you know to the nth degree once you've put them there reads it every time someone utters the word of allah you're getting reward without knowing for it and and uh, and then there's like levels even in the i think it's in the hadith or something where you'll have a mosque built for you in paradise if you do this on earth and you'll be at this level of paradise if you do this so it's also not just getting to the base level right you want to get to the highest level near god's throne yeah, it, 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 sounds like, it, it sounds awfully like a Chinese social credit system, social point system. Um, <laughs> uh, but again, like I wouldn't even be concerned. I would be like, okay, like this is Sahih Hadith. It's an agreed upon Hadith. Uh, nothing's heavier than the name of Allah. Just say Allah's name and that's it. You're, you're, you're through. You don't yeah, have to worry about you, you might be at the bottom of heaven, mate. You could be on the seventh or the sixth oh, level the where there's... <laughs> I remember Armin Nawabi said that he said... I don't care which level of heaven I'm in. I just don't want to be in hell. That's the eternal torture, yeah? So, so that yeah. would make more well, sense. We're, we're the, those people are the 51% passers. That's all you care about is just passing. <laughs> you don't care about maybe, extra maybe different, grade, different grades as well. 51 to 55% lowest. 55 <laughs> yeah. to 65, slightly higher. 65 it's to 85. It's a percentile thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a, like, like, like which university you go to. The top university, second uh, best university, third best, and so on. Yeah, where's the Ivy League of Jannat? The Oxford or Cambridge oh. of Jannat? <laughs> to help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.